Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. I figured out I could actually solve it, perform, do a quest fairly quite easily, so let's do it to start with. I don't know why I didn't think about this before, but let's have a look at the quests. So I've got this quest here. Energy conduit. I need ten pieces and I'll get another ten back. Well, I've already got ten pieces of energy conduit as other rewards, so let's dig it up and take some with us. It doesn't matter which ones I use. I'm going to use take these two from here, and then I'll take the we'll put them back afterwards. And we've got nine, ten. So let's look. Now we can detect that quest and claim the reward. Awards. Done. So we now have got twenty, and that also opens up this one. No limits. So we have to produce cryostabilized flux duct, which may or may not be possible. I'll have to have a look at that to start with. Um, let's have a look, actually. Cryostabilized flux duct, deal with this one. So it's a reward. Okay, we make that from the stabilized one, cryostabilized. Empty. So, what do we need? Electro ingots, fused quartz, or hardened glass. That's no big deal. Redstone f energy flux duct, which is red redstone. Empty. Electrum hardened glass. Not actually impossible. I think we should be able to do that one. So, first of all, before I start doing that one, I'll put this stuff back again. It's always good to have a bit more cable, isn't it? Um, how am I going to do this now? Probably from here is probably the easiest place. Can I do it? No. We can put this one down here as well. This takes a few seconds to do this. If I get the right place that is. Take the one off there. Maybe I can do it from standing up would be easier, wouldn't it? Can't reach that one. Maybe I can. There we go. So that's all reconnected. So what I want to do now is I would like to start to produce some rubber. But first of all, we need to get the trees sorted out on place. So we need to get wood produced better. So I've thought about how we can do that as well. We have got two pieces of ME glass cable which should be enough and we want one export bus like that and we need some um, what do we need out of here we need the pirate phyto grow don't we like that and I reckon I can simply put this onto here like this so if I take and move these out of the way I was moving some stuff around just moving um, some of those chemicals around, I don't think I need them everywhere. So if I, this is an export bus, so that should do. So then we can just simply put that on there and that on like this. And then put onto the export bus some phyto grow like that. Then that should start to come into here, like that, fill it up of course. And we should start to get wood. Now the only next problem is to how to get rid of the wood and the um, saplings. Which I'm not quite sure how to do yet. I've almost filled up the space that we've got for this thing anyway let's have a look what I thought about doing is digging down here pressing shift in case you didn't realize and taking some stuff out of here like this if I can get into the space but then I'd need a space for an export bus and I suppose I can do that from behind can't I so if we actually went down here like this I can. Maybe I just need to get into here a bit nearer. No, well, actually, while I'm here, I'll put the stuff back into this because I don't think I want this hole. Like that. And we should be able to come down here with some wood. And where we will end up, of course, is in here. This space. Oops. Oh, I don't want to do that, do I? What have I just done? I've ended up in my chamber okay 
So I suppose the best way to do this is to get out of here like this. Put those two bits of moon rock back. And then come out of here. So I've got a little exit here, haven't I? That wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to be worse than it was. So I just need to fill in this hole here because that's where we want to bring it out of. I suppose that's I'll leave it for the time being. Um because I can't think of any other way of putting something in the little lock. Let's, let's put a block of wood in there to start with. Well at least we know where it is then. So I suspect I've also run out of fuel in this thing over here. I need to make some more cables, of course, don't we? Some aluminium cables to to get this thing powered. Oh no, it's it's still running. Oh, it's still producing compressed cobblestone. It's got plenty of that, 11. Oh good, we'll leave that to do its stuff. So now we've got some automation on this. I don't know how I'm going to get the items out of here. I'll obviously have to make some item duct or something like that. I'll put some... I'll put this just here for the time being. I wonder if we can actually make item ducts. I haven't looked at that yet. Um, I know we can't make the end of the end dryer stuff, but we could possibly make some item duct here. There's two types. There's opaque and which is the one we're going to make. Impulse knot, opaque item duct. That's two tin ingots and one lead will give me six item ducts. Which is actually not too difficult. So if we can shift click that into place, we can. But we need a, a good few of these. We got to 36, 42, and then we ran out of lead. But we're about to have plenty of lead in the system. Actually, while I'm here, let's go and check how we're getting on with this as well. Now well, that's nice and reasonably full. Let's remove the coal. This is something else I need to get some cables for to take this out of here. We got any lead in there? broken lead ore we have. Let's just take the broken lead ore out. Come along here and of course by now you realise that this mod pack is quite slow. It's quite a, it's not a fast progression on this one. Well, let's put the lead in there. Let's come along here and make sure that we've got some lead coming into here. So let's select the lead one which is purple. Click the import one over here select that check down here it's got some tin in there probably 96 tin that's fine put the lead back again turn this on for a few seconds it doesn't matter if you actually go the wrong way it just goes round and round like that so we're now making some more lead ingots which is fine i do need to find a better way of doing that and i would like to get these items through here from here outwards now to do that i'm going to have to make some more glass cables i reckon and bring the glass cables possibly along here and then join up. Maybe I'll take it underneath the layer and bring it up over here like that. We'll see. So now we also need to make a servo, I think, for these things. So I think we need to make an item duct servo, extracts fluids and items from something I think this is the cheapest one. Some iron nuggets and a piece of glass. We're not sure what we've got. Oh, just some iron nuggets we're short of. That's no big deal. We can so quickly make those. Let's take, actually, yeah, let's take one of those. Let's put that back into the system and then do this. What's this one? A hardened one. I think that just changes the rate. It does extract 75% rate and higher rate like this. But speed is not going to be a great problem. So this will the, stand, the standard ones will do, I think. Like that. So now we have two servers, and we should be able to put those onto this machine. Well, before I go and do that, let's go and get some more oxygen. Oxygen is also important. Otherwise, we don't want to die from oxygen starvation. Do we? Let's put that like that. Fill it into here like that. 
and we go back again. And I don't think it's possible to automate this in the spike either, so let's have a look. So now if we dig up this hole again and put down some of the item books that we've got. That'll connect to that. So then we simply put the server onto this like this, I think. It's been a long time since I've actually done this, to be honest with you. I must be dead honest. And it, that was actually coloured orange, wasn't it? Let's have a look what we've got the colours here. The red one. So the back is... That might be the same colour. That will do. Anyway, it's the back one here. We could make them orange and we would bring them both across like that. Of course it fills up with saplings. I need to do something with the saplings as well. So let's turn this on. Enabled it. So it's always extracting. So now we should be able to go down to the bottom here and get some items. Where are we? Up here, I think. Yes. Like that too. So we now put a chest or something. Have we got a chest? So oh, we have, yes, that's good. Let's put a chest down on this piece of wood here. And with a bit of luck, it should start to pull items out of this, but it doesn't look like it is doing. Hmm. Just, yeah, these are working fine. These are working fine, but they're actually. I might try doing some diamond spikes for that as well because you only get those four items. Right, where are we? Oh, I'm in the wrong room. The wood's been gone, it has gone, so it is working. It is taking the wood out. That's strange. I wonder why I didn't see it in that chest. Let me double check that. Oh yes. Now we've got a good source of wood. So we just need a way to find the saplings to go back into the um into there. I'm not sure how to do that to be honest with you. Maybe we have to take them out and push them in again. I think they do have they have a filter as well. Let me have a look and see if there's a filter for this. So at Thel Dynamics. I think there is a filter. Here we've got an item filter restricts what might pass through it. So can we make one of these pieces of paper? Oh, we can, great. So with with a bit of luck, we could actually, but I don't know how to, I haven't got any spaces on here. I've got all sides except for this one on the right, which is taken up. And why is that a problem? Because, what have we got here? Electric floodlight. Oh, it's an electric floodlight. I probably don't need the electric floodlight, do I? But then I still have the problem getting the items back into here. Well, maybe we can remove this electric floodlight and put a normal floodlight in its place. And I know I've got some of those spare, so let's go and get one of those. Of course, I'm going fast because I've got the red RF pickaxe in my hand load light, oh, there we are, 13, look, Let's take two, actually one will be fine. Let's put that in there like that, that should light up this room satisfactorily, let's just press F4, check, yes that's fine. So now of course that means we could actually move this block back again, or we could just do it like this as well of course let's take the rr pickaxe out of here and then we can probably join this not rr pickaxe let's, we can probably join that into here so let's have a look so if we configure this now as an output let's have a look this side here what well, is orange it would take it out but we could actually get it out the back because if we click this one again i think we can get to orange and red oh yes yeah that's going to the chest now so if we actually put, where's it gone to, here, these pipes down here like this, 
Oops, wrong one. With a bit of luck, we'll start to get items coming back into here. That's 20s going out. Uh, it looks like it's just going down, doesn't it? So maybe I have to put a filter on the other one to take so that the saplings don't come out. How can I do that? Hold on, have I done configure this as an input? I haven't, have I? Now it's configured as an input. Oh, of course, it's now filling up with Factogra on the wrong side. Let's put that back into there like that. I'm hoping the back side is orange. Yeah, they're both disappearing down, but oh, well, they are going up. Look. Well, that would be good if that works, because that'll mean we'll start to carry on producing wood permanently. But of course, we then have a problem with water. Let's have a look how we're doing for water on this thing. Wrong, wrong one. 121 buckets going down all the time. Okay. So I have to sort that out as well, which means I've got to go and farm my cactus. I'll walk through these two as I go out. Like that, what time is it? It's still daytime, good. And I need to find a way to automate this. Because at the moment this is definitely a pain. And I'm going to have to do this a lot if I need a lot of wood. Well, it's not actually too difficult to automate cactus collection. Let's have a look. Oh, we just need to put that into the decomposer, don't we? In fact, I should bring the decomposer to the other side as well, shouldn't I? So 20 ca 22 cactus will give me quite a bit of water. How much have we got here? 64, 64, 64. And 56. Really, I want to fit, get these decomposed and go straight into the system, don't I? But no power here so as such yet, so that's not going to be quite so easy. In fact, I probably should have put a lever down on that thing as well. So that it doesn't work all the time and I have some water available. Let's get to, maybe I've got a lever in here, it's available. Nope, I have to make one lever. Piece of cobblestone and a stick. I'll tell you what, we'll do it the easy way. No cobblestone, right. I'll have to go make some cobble and get some cobblestone from downstairs. Probably, I might even have some actually thinking about it. Took one piece of cobble. Oh, that was a stack, wasn't it? Let's have a look down and see what we've actually got in this chest now. Ooh, four stacks of wood plus a good few stacks of um, saplings. I have to put a lever down here, don't I? So turn this off. So if I then change this now to being. Um, enabled high so that's not going to take stuff out of here that should start to fill up I hope no it's not why are you not filling up oh maybe enable high needs to, maybe I need it to be enabled low now that looks like that's enabled I want that enabled high then I put a lever down here 
Yeah. So that's now disabled. So it shouldn't be going out of here. Oh, hold on a second. No, nope, it shouldn't be going out because the only thing we've got on there is an import bus here and an import bus here. And that should be not going out. Well, that beats me. I don't know what's going on there. I have a look at the configuration. So the only place it can go out is the back and the bottom. Well, nothing going out at the bottom because it's the power. Then we could shift that one off actually. Like that. But the wood's still disappearing. I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> it should not be doing that. I don't get that at all. Never mind. I'm going to just have to. Nothing in there, is there? Unless I've got, unless I've gone crazy. I don't think. Nope. It should be off. Shouldn't be extracting stuff. But I bet you anything that wood, that the um, wood's going downstairs still. Yep, there it is. Hmm. Well, that's a bit strange. Anyway, what we want to do with this wood now is we want to convert that into um, cellulose. cellulose. So what have I got here? Got some mint. That'll do fine. So what we're going to do to do that? We're going to. Put, I'm going to put a block of mint down here because I want to put a chemical decomposer on it, like that. Oops, like that. I mean, pick this up. I can't pick it up with that, can I? Pick it up with a pickaxe. I'll pick up this block as well. And I'm just having a think now how I can how I'm going to be able to do this. Am I too close? Probably not actually. I think because this is a decomposer, you can put stuff in either at the sides. Let's just try that. If I use these item conduits like that. And then put a filter onto here to just say accepting wood. Let's have a look. If I turn this one off, which I think I can do with a shift right. No, nope, can't do it that way. I have a shift right click. I'll do it like this. And no, nothing's coming in here at all, is it? I'm not sure whether it's blocked or it's. Let's put another piece back on here. 61 no it's still going in so maybe it does have to go in at the top I know it probably can come out of the sides let's put it like that should be able to accept it let's just shift off some of this why is it not getting anything in I'll tell you what I'll do yeah, I'll take a few of these and put this into this chemical deep. Oh yeah, it's coming in now. So it comes in from the top. I think this just takes a while before it starts to settle itself down. And I'm pretty sure it, you can't go in the sides. I think it's got to go in the top. Let's just prove that. 19. And wait a bit, see if it can go in the sides. I think it can come out all the sides and the bottom, but it has to go in at the top. Anyway, let's let's put the next one there because that's going to produce the cellulose, and the next one is going to produce um, that's going to be decomposed to oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. Just I'll check, check this again. It's still 19, so it is definitely on the top. Let's put that back again then. Break this one. Of course it just needs power. That should go up. It does seem to take some time. Maybe it's finished at the top there. I'll have to go and check the top as well. So anyway, what we need to do then is it can come out the sides and it can go into the other decompressor um at the sides. Let's have a look. I'm not sure I can do it with these things. Let's just have a look. I need to block down so I can stand up like that. And I don't want everything to join up and I'm not it's been a long time since I've used these, you know. 
maybe I can simply right click this one to break it, yes I can, good like that and then we can come down and see if they've got this coming into here oh 58, so it is working again, it just seems to be very slow so now we need to give this some power, let's go and get some power cables done So power cables. I wonder if I need some string and some wool basically and aluminium. Let's have a look. Aluminium goes let's put those across like that. Let's have a look if we got any wool. Seven. Rock wool, lots of. Six. So string I probably got plenty of. Yep, that'll do. Let's just take those and craft those into 16 pieces of wool. Maybe I can get 18. Yes, I can. Good. What else can I use in here that I've got to use? Let's have a look. I'm just having a look for a capacitor bank or some form of power. Can we drink this across to this one? This one here, I think, is an output. Let's have a look if this works. Powered. So that's working fine, and it's, that was fast. Got that speed. That thing went up. So we can bring another one across here like that. Power that. So let's have a look. So now we're getting our cellulose, which is carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. And that's going very fast actually because there's quite a lot of power in this energy pylon. Okay, so. And that should then, we need that to come into here. But I've got a feeling I have to change the cables here anyway. I think I'm going to have to use item ducts and rationing pipes you see that's actually pretty good I'm quite pleased with that in fact I don't need a rationing pipe on this one do I because this is only going to be one output so let's just stick a servo I've got another servo on here like that onto this one and turn that on so that's going to put stuff should start to come into here when I say stuff, I mean cellulose, and should start to get decomposed. Look at that. And there we go. So that's going to fill up with oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon. Now we need to get rid of some of this stuff to make what we need to make. What we need to make is rubber. So let's have a look at... I'm not sure what I've got in items at the moment. I guess I've got a transfer node. That's great. And I've got a rationing pipe, some pipe probably enough no I need some more I'm going to need at least one or two more um, pipes aren't I let's get rid of that so I need a rationing pipe I'm not sure what the recipe for that was let me have a look this one I have 16 glass and 32 stone slabs so what have we got for stone in here 10. So we need more stone, stone slabs. We'll just make all of these up to stone slabs. 48, 58. We need more actually. Um, so I've got some cobblestone here. That's triple compressed. We'll cook this cobblestone and we'll also grind some more cobblestone. So quadruple compressed. I don't want that one. Oh, actually, there was double compressed cobble in there, wasn't there? 132 triple compressed. Yeah, we'll take a couple of these and decompose these, and then decompose these. That'll is that double compressed? Oh, it's compressed cobblestone. Yes, so we don't want that. Good, and we'll take these and we're going to get some of these ground up into sand and gravel 
and the other ones we'll get a uh, we'll cook. So we'll cook a stack of those. So we've got twelve glass already. Look at that fantastic. And what have we got in here? Nothing at the moment. Let's grab. Let's convert these two. Uh, sand and first gravel and sand. This will be quite slow because what I did put in here was the the augments for the secondary products, wasn't it? I could upgrade that again. And this one, we just, what did we do? Nothing in this one at all, so it's relatively slow still. In fact, that will be enough stone, I think, for what we need. We'll get nine and we'll make some more slabs. I'm not sure exactly how many rationing pipes I need for this. I think it's one or two. Ah, and rationing pipes for stone slabs, which I've got somewhere glass we need. And we need to turn that off. And stone slabs. I didn't pick them up. Brilliant. I've got 58. I need some more. Let's get rid of that. Put those up. Try again. 64 and 12. 64 will give me two. With some glass. We need more glass, of course which hopefully we should be able to get shortly once we've got the uh, the gravel come made. I've already got three sands from that, so that's good. That's another three. I'm going to let these cook, I think. At least for a few more bits and pieces. So we need 16, I want one more piece of sand. When I get the next piece of sand, which we should get shortly. We will um, cook those, that'll give us our 16, and then we can make the rationing pipe. And I also need a transfer node, don't I? Which is a block of iron and a block of redstone. There we go. Let's take that out of there. Let's take these out of here like that. And the stone, and that will cook into glass, and we'll get our 16 glasses. So we just need a block of a couple more and we also need some filters if I haven't got those already set up I don't think I've got any filters in here no I haven't let's put back filter so we need these filters I haven't got any I haven't got any sticks have I let's have a look wood I've got plenty of wood in here let's Tell you what, oh, I've got plenty of wood. Didn't see I've got plenty of wood. Let's put those in there, make some sticks, clear off those, and make a stack of sticks, put those in there. Then we can make the filter easily enough. I'll make four, I think four will do. And we need a block of iron, and we need some redstone, a block of redstone. Probably make two of these if I've got any space in my thing, which I'm, looks like I'm running out of space pretty quick. And some iron, we'll go and get the iron and put that in afterwards, I think. Redstone, yes, we can make another one of these now. That should kick in while we're doing that. And we go and get the rest of the glass now, and then we should be able to make another rationing pipe. doing that let's cook that up again and we've still got a bit more time before that's finished it's quite slow we see it's already finished those two that's pretty nice it works much better now so rationing pipe we can make one of those like that i don't think that uses too much power it doesn't good put these into here and can't make another one for a time being until we get some more glass. But we've got what we need for now. I think this will do. Because I only really want to demonstrate what I'm trying to, to achieve today. I'm not going to finish it off by the looks of it. But I've got a feeling what we can do here. So we can put filters on, uh, ducts on these two here. And actually, mm, one on the bottom possibly. Or maybe I should take this cable down a bit. 
I'll sort it out later on, I think. Oh, I can't go down there anymore. Darn. Um, tell you what we'll do. We'll take this cable and break this cable and put it below. I think it's here. No, next one. And that'll also give us power. So what I think we can do now, and this is the bit that got me stuck last time, is we want to put this decom the synthesizer here. So before we put the synthesizer on, I'm putting it into another block. And I want to move it away a little bit like this. I think I want it around about here. So what I'll do, put down a pipe here like that. Actually, let's put this one on here like that. And then we can put the synthesizer against this. And then we can break this. Like that. So now, we should be able to feed things into the size of the sides of the synthesizer. I'm hoping that's the case. But first of all, we put a rationing pipe on it. Oh, I didn't know what I wanted to do, did it? Let me just break that. Like that. So that's filling with oxygen and carbon. And it'll carry on filling up. And it should, because of the rationing pipe, stop. Does it? But it might produce, take the hydrogen as well. I'm not sure. This is the bit I'm stuck on. So what we'll do with that is we'll get a, see now it's taking hydrogen I think, like that. And what we want to make is rubber, so let's have a look for rubber next. This one. So the only way we can do this is by synthesizing it. So we need this one, and I think I've got to make two synthesizers for doing this and we need to take the oxygen out of the stream so we need C4H8 times 16 so let's do that first of all C4H8 uh, and that produces butane We need 16 of those, but it's got no power, of course, at the moment. Let's take some power and see if we can fit, put some power into this. Like that. So now we should have this powered, and it's full. So we should be able to simply take the butane out of here like that. So we've got 11. And I'm hoping that we're still getting some more stuff into here. Let's have a look what's going on here. Oxygen's going down, so oxygen's being fed into here, I guess. And this is where the oxygen has got stuck. It can't get any more oxygen in there. So this is where you'd actually have a second connection. And I think what you have to do you probably come along here like that. So I did I shift it, did I? What have I got? That looks a bit strange. Oops, that wasn't what I intended to do. Like this. Ah, oh, there's this block here that's looking a bit strange. That's what it is. So now we should be able to put another block on to here. I was going to connect it to the rationing pipe. And it looks a bit strange. Let me just try putting those into place. One, yeah, that looks better. And two and three and four. I think that's how we have to do it, so it doesn't connect up in the middle here. 
So then it should be we then put in filters. So we want one filter for hydrogen, one filter for, for um, carbon, and one filter for oxygen. So let's just take one some out of there like that. Take this out of that, that. I think this is how we've got to do it. I keep saying that, don't I? I don't mean to say it, repeat myself too many times. So, well, come out to it. You have your center entry filter. If I, I can't do that, I've got to put it like this. Just do one, otherwise, it puts it into all of them. So, we want some carbon in one, which we'll put into this item in here, like that. So, we put this filter in here, then it can only put carbon into here. Next one. We shall do the same thing again, but this time we'll do hydrogen, like that. So we've already got hydrogen in here, and I'm hoping that that doesn't allow this to be any other place other than hydrogen and carbon, which is great. It looks like it's working, uh, except for this has got oxygen in hasn't it? So the third one we want to do, I need to take this up power out this one as well don't I? Let me just bash that away and put some more pipe cable down here. That's fine. So everything should be powered up nicely now. That's good. So then we want to put another one on here like this. And this time we want to put oxygen into this one. So push that down like that. Press the shift on it. Oh of course I've got to haven't I? And that wants to connect to that one, which it doesn't want to do. And that's getting carbon in. So what we now need to do is set up another filter for oxygen. Let's get some oxygen out of here. Like that, and then put this filter into there. That'll stop the carbon coming out of there, and our only oxygen going into that side. And then this one, do the same thing and should only get carbon into here now this should then start to get fed up with filled up get rid of the oxygen because we don't got no space for that at the moment let's put the carbon and the hydrogen in here put some more carbon it doesn't matter if i've got extra you see and that's filling up with oxygen that's filling up with carbon and this one should be filling up with hydrogen which it already is so now, if we remove this stack of hydrogen from here, like that, it should start to get one stack of hydrogen in. And only one stack of hydrogen in. That's great. And then we need to do something with this oxygen. So we're basically going to put the oxygen into a chest or, or something like it. I think I've got a chest on me, so I can really use a chest to start with. And then we'll change it for a cache, like that. So that's now getting the oxygen in. Let's just shift that away. So then that should now keep clear and only put into here what we need. So we've got some oxygen in here which we don't want. So that's like that. And the next machine we need to do the same thing for as well. We need to basically do this, repeat this again and I need to make another synthesizer. But I'm a bit longer than I wanted to be today. so. I'll do that next time when we complete this process of automating uh, the rubber production. So until then, bye for now.